Paces 23, the updated version of Paces, will be introduced in the autumn of 2023. And I'd like to summarise the main changes. Firstly, let me deal with what is being removed. Station 2, Station 4 and Station 5 will no longer be part of the carousel. Station 2, where history taking was assessed in isolation without clinical examination, was felt to be artificial and not representative of current day practice. Station 4, communication and ethics encounter, was felt to be too long and in particular the five minute interaction between candidate and the examiner was felt to add little value to the overall assessment. Station 5 was felt to be good in principle in that it tested all seven skills in an integrated fashion, but to perform this in 10 minutes was felt to be quite time restricting. Now let's look at what is being introduced. There will be two 10 minute communication encounters. These will be very similar to station four, but they will be shortened to 10 minutes and there will be no candidate examiner interaction. There will be two longer consultation scenarios, similar to Station 5, but they will last 20 minutes each. There will be 15 minutes for the candidate to take a history and examine the patient, followed by five minutes of interaction and questioning with the examiners. You may wish to refer to the diagram which outlines the PACES 23 carousel. At station one, there will be a communication encounter, which will always precede examination of a patient's respiratory system. At station two, there will be the 20 minute consultation. At station three, there will be examination of the cardiovascular and neurological systems similar to the current Station 3. At Station 4, there will be a second communication encounter, which will precede examination of a patient's abdominal system. And then at Station 5, there will be a second communication encounter lasting 20 minutes. If you're a candidate, I wish you good luck in your forthcoming exam. If you're an examiner or assistant at one of our PACES centres, can I thank you very much for your ongoing support of MRCP UK.